Hello everyone, welcome back to Kitchen Moods. Today I will prepare for you chicken fajita with lots of vegetables and delicious dips. First, we will marinate two pounds of chicken meat. My marinade consists of two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, quarter cup of Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce, and three tablespoons of sugar-free barbecue sauce, half tablespoon of garlic powder, black pepper and salt as desired. I will mix well and I will preferably leave it marinate overnight in the fridge. If you're in a hurry, you can also leave it marinate for a few minutes to a couple of hours. Then I will prepare my vegetables. Today I chose mushrooms, colored bell peppers, onions and little garlic. To cook the fajitas, I will add some oil to a pan and put it on high heat and make sure it's really hot before starting to add my chicken to the pan. To maintain the oil heat, make sure that you add the chicken gradually, leaving a few seconds between each batch you put in the pan. If the oil cools down, the chicken will lose its juice and along with it its nutrients. Now I cooked my chicken for approximately 10 to 15 minutes until it browned. Then I'm adding all my vegetables. And I will stir for a few minutes until the vegetables are tender. Then I will add about a quarter cup of water and let it simmer for another few minutes. Turn off the heat and get started with the sides. First I will add some bell peppers and onions and chop them with the food chopper. You can also cut them finely with a knife or use a food processor. Then I will add the tomatoes as they need less chopping than the peppers and onions. I will then transfer the mixture to a bowl. Squeeze half a lemon to the mixture and add some scallions and parsley. The second side is the avocado dip. I will add two small avocados into the food chopper and chop them well. Then I will add half a small tomato, half a small onion, some parsley, half a clove of garlic, salt and pepper to taste, and then mix well. I will transfer the mixture to another bowl. I will add some scallions and squeeze a large lemon or lime. Leave the lemon juice on top of the avocados until I serve my food to prevent the avocados from oxidizing and changing color. The third and easiest side is the sour cream mix. Two tablespoons of sour cream and I squeeze half a lemon on top, little bit of scallions and parsley. Mix well and it's ready. Now I have my three sides ready as well as the fajita and I will start preparing and serving my meal. I like to serve my fajita on whole grain high fiber pitas. I add a little bit of chicken, vegetables and a little of the sides on top. Now 
Then I serve my meal hot. I hope you enjoy this meal as much as I do and see you next time.